Go greetings, this is Garth R.S. the Tireless Adventurer, and I just experienced the most epic bug of all epicness. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn this on here for a second. Remember earlier I was talking about this E for entities. I opened my map, and this was a four-digit number. It was 1278, I believe. I tried to catch this, but Fraps was causing me heartache. Uh, so I closed my window, or closed my, my map, I figured it's just some kind of bug or something, I, I'll, I'll bring it back open. So I opened my map again, and it was like really, really slow and glitchy. So I hit it F3, and this number was 28698. 28,698 entities were in my rendering thing. Uh, my RAM usage instantly went to like 95%. My CPU usage was like freaking off the charts. And everything was just screaming and noses started bleeding. It was hysterical. So, yeah. So I figured I'd share that with you. Because I was getting like one frame every three minutes. It's pretty nice. Oh, there must be something new outside. Let me see what I can do about this. Seems to be a little bit normal. Let's go with normal. Put the graphics on fast. Maybe that ought to do it. Yeah, that ought to do it. Back to game. Did it? I'm running. Okay. Um, two beefs. Endermen are messing. What are you doing? Endermen are messing with my stuff. See, I got 345 dudes. I'm going to turn you to daytime. There you go. There's a good boy. Alright, come back. Back it ruined. Alright, Endermen are like pulling chunks out of my wall and stuff. And a freaking creeper snuck up on me a while ago. Blew up this little area right here and I had to fix it. It was a very inconvenient thing. And freaking blah blah blah. Quit laggity lagging. Anyway. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Apparently, there have been several people saying that Endermen have like an unlimited spawn count, which I really hope that is not the truth. Um, that would really suck. Um, but what I made here was a reed farm, and in the process of testing my reed farm, I pretty much was able to fill it up and never need another reed ever again. So. <laughs> I don't even really need it anymore. I think I have like three stacks of 64 over there or whatever. But uh, I got two blocks of water that washed this all out. But the key thing with, with reeds is before you can release this water, you have to cut off this water. Because if water hits a reed that is still standing beside water, water just stops. And the reeds are like, whatever, dude. Whatever. I'm all falling in. I'm getting lag spikes. And we all know how I feel about lag spikes. So let me just show you ugh, what I done did. Alright. So this switch, the flibbity flib flibs, comes down here and actuates all these pistons. Uh, and this is probably more convoluted than it needs to be. Which shoves these dirt blocks up, cutting off the water flow going down. And then I got a, like a full tick. Well, Let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 20 ticks before these release the water flow. So that's how that rolls. Now that's how, that's how, that's how that rolls. So let's go ahead and just put those back real fast. I'll replace them with cobble later. Um, but. You hear that? first set here goes the water boom 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 and it all comes down I enclosed it all in glass because honestly I had a whole bunch of glass and I didn't want it walk around on the things collecting it all day so that's why I did that but like I said uh, I'll show you what we do here Lag spiking. See, now I got 570. Yeah, there's definitely a spawn bug or something going on right now. Let me put this on. I'm on peaceful. 
Oh, I'm not going hard or easy. Freaking add mobs to that. Pshhh. Booyakasha. Okay, so. See, everything comes down here. And we'll see exactly how many. 396 entities somewhere. There's a. Probably. Spawn. Like a slime spawner. See, look at that. Boom! Tell me that's not insane. That's just one harvest of that. And I just built that like maybe two hours ago. That's ridiculous. Ridunculous. So that might be what I add to the. Uh, what do you call it? That might be what I add to the. Um, this little area over here. Put it like right here, like a little shop for me to make stuff. Stuff. Yeah, so I gotta figure out what is spawning uncontrollably. Oh, I'm back down to 91. See, it's just shooting up. What's this? What is it? I wonder. I wonder what it is. There's got to be like a million slimes just somewhere just cold chilling, or maybe it's like an Enderman party, and they're all like, "Oh, party over here! What? What? Party over here!" Yeah, my son was telling me he's like, "Enderman have buck teeth," and I'm like, "What in the heck are you talking about?" He's like, "I swear, Dad, I read it on the internet." And I'm like, "Well, then it must be true." Holy crap! Enderman have buck teeth. It's true. I'll plant all that reeds later. Actually, I should do that now so I can show you guys how I do it. Did you see that? I love dashing. Dashing is so awesome. I am so dashing. Um, I think that should do it. Nah, I got another one just in case. This is running and dashing and dashing and running. You're like three or four on the uh, jump distance easy okay so what you do basically is you come over here and you go all the way up except for the very last one that you're standing in you don't do that one boot boot and no you don't want that one and that's just basically what you do you just run through here and fill them all up just like that. I got some glowstone here for for lighting because I don't want mobs spawning all up on her, up on her. Some pretty sick turnout. You saw that was like what six stacks of 64 and a stack of 12. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So if you need like a lot of stuff or cakes or bookshelves you know this is definitely a way to do that uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows the mechanics of reeds but just in case allow me to cover them first of all reeds must be placed adjacent to water not catty corner it's got to be you know 90 degrees off from water so like um, let's see, I got a water block here, so I couldn't put a reed here. It's got to be adjacent in a 90 degree span, and it can't be like up one from water. It's got to be like adjacent to water. Directly. Um, second of all, if the water source is removed, either running or uh, steady, or what do you, what do I call it? Um, source, yeah, either running or source, then, like, within, like, probably five seconds, the reed itself will unplant like a mushroom in the sun. So that's, that's the principle, basically, the basic principles of reeds. Now, if water hits a reed that is firmly planted, i.e. not about to unplant itself due to lack of water, um, that water will stop. And uh, won't go any further. So that's why you always have to leave this one first. Um, 
because if water when water hits this, it'll just run across the top. It won't it won't destroy it. So you leave it leave it open like that. That way the water can come down and hit the reed. So there you go. There's the basic mechanics of that. Now, um, as far as reed harvesting goes, um, it's kind of it's kind of a a chore because you got to figure out how to make the fewest number of torches, not torches, crap, water source blocks to use. I could have taken this up probably one more level and just used one, but who, yeah, I didn't want it taller than the wall it was next to. So basically what happens here is water always travels to the shortest distance, but not including a diagonal. So when this block is removed, there are three equidistant cliffs here. So the water goes to all three cliffs at the same time. Well, when it comes down right here, it, uh, it'll come off of this. So the water run out here and it'll go off this side, it'll go off this side, and it'll go off this side. And when it comes to this side, it'll go off this side and it'll go down here. So basically, out of one source block, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven directions of travel. So in those seven directions of travel, this comes out here like this. One, two, three, because it won't go diagonal. One, two, three. So it goes off in both those directions. And when it comes off here, it'll go down this way. And it'll also come out, or no, actually it'll just go down this way. But because this is already going out this way, it'll spread out. This counts as like one and a half, and this counts as one and a half. So while well, this goes one, two, three, one, two, three, and this goes one and a half to three. So does that make sense? Because this, this will source this, and this will source this. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make a lick of sense. You're like, what the heck are you talking about, dude? You're like one, two, three, nine, four, nine. I don't understand that. Is it your phone number? Are we supposed to call you? What's going on? You know what really suck? If you could eyeball an Enderman without line of sight. Wouldn't that suck and you're all like just looking around and you just happen to go over like a cache of them. They're all hanging out and all of a sudden, psh, he's looking at us. Ah, eat FaceTime. But, you know, that would suck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, see, though, that's how it, ro that's how it rolls. So it was two stacks of 64 plus four more to populate that. And I got, what, five stacks of 64 and a stack of 12 out of it? Yeah, I was sitting here talking to my son. I was like, blah, 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 blah. And I turned around here. Captain Creeper was all like, boo, ah, oh, boom. And it was like, oh, my God, I have pee in my pants. Not really, though. I was just kidding. I don't really pee in my pants. Stinky old Creeper ain't going to scare me. I'm hardcore. Hurrah. Hey, look. And uh, here's something maybe some, some of you can discount for me. Um... Oh, I need to put you over here. I was uh, watching my daughter play in creative mode, and she's flying around. She's like, oh my god, I can fly! But she, she was flying around, and I said to myself, I was like, self, uh, is that pig just spawning there on the ocean? And it was. It was spawning in the ocean. Boom! Shut him in his sphincter. Sphincter! And my son asked me like nine times what the experience was for. And I told him the same thing every time. I was like, 1.9. Now leave me alone. 1.9. Leave me alone. 1.9. Leave me alone. But I love him. Even though he does ask the same question a thousand times. Yeah, see, my entity counts back down to nothing again. It's like 60. But I, seriously, what was that all about? I got like crazy mad skills. There's an ore shop over there. Yeah, it's creepy when you see like these little blocks moved. Because then you're all like, oh, there was an Enderman out here. Oh, there was an Enderman out here. But you don't want to go looking for them because they're meaner than snakes. I bet you one was in that bar. Look at, see? Look. Just picking them up, putting them down, whatever. <laughs> Well, this is heavy. I should have never picked this up. I know, dude. Why are you touching my stuff? Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. Oh, I'm on peaceful. That's why nothing's spawning. 
Duh. Let's see what happens when I put this on normal. Back to game. Spider. Instant spider. Skeletons. Zombies. Dudes cold chilling. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't even. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Suck it, blue. There's like creeper. Creeperville. Population too many creepers. I'm so worried. I'm so worried about Enderman, it's not even funny. It's not even snot. Get it? It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Hello, is this thing on? What's up, dude? I'm gonna eat your flesh. Kinda like quid pro quo. I just shot you in your pocket. Your watch pocket. That's pretty awesome. Just shot you in your watch pocket. I thought that was an Enderman. Why did I look back? I was like, ooh, Enderman. But it wasn't an Enderman. It was something else entirely. Something made of bones. Ah, <sighs> I just go around inside my uh, fortress of awesome tude here and keep the peace. Oh, my little pasture's working. I got pigs in there making bacon. I'm a little worried. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little worried. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Let's start some trouble. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, crap. That's the worst that can happen. Come oh, on. Shoot you in your butt pocket. Oh, that was very close to being an uncomfortable moment. Weird, man. Get out of here. Bam! V-neck sweater. Boom! Oh! Uh, boom! Oh, dude, rotten flesh for the win! I want to eat it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, they just run around. Oh, there's a red one over there. Oh, that's why I forgot. My son told me this. You're not going to find too many Endermen in the rainstorms because water makes them melt. See? I'm not looking directly at him, but he's still dying. Oh. Ah, ha, ah. Ha crazy. Hey, Enderman Pearl! Mm, it's mine! You can't have it! Mm, it's mine! Running! Running, running, running! Running, running! But that's pretty handy, you know? Um, so you'll never be able to... Oh, crap. You'll never be able to uh, mob floor your Enderman because they'll... Well, sh shooting these things with a bow is freaking pretty much useless. Especially if you're as horrible a shot as I am. Just shut up. Just shut up and quit making fun of me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Watch there be a freaking whatever it is right in here. Mm, don't hurt me. Mm, mm. Nope, nothing. Ah, 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 ah. Endermen are scary. Did I say that yet? They're creepy and scary at the same time. They're like creepy scary. I want to expect to come in here one day and there's be a dude chilling. He's like, "Who was up?" Oh crap! Was that everyone in my house? Yeah, but I, what do you do? What do you do? And this has become utterly and totally, completely useless. Nothing has fallen out of this chute um, at all. Ah, apparently Enderman Pearls or Ender Pearls or whatever they're called here. Let's see. Ender Pearl. Apparently what they do is teleport Enderman away from you. Which is handy, I imagine. 
since they teleport to you, and then you just teleport them away. Oh, by the way, <laughs> oh, see, now I'm poisoned. See the green shaky food things? That's poison. <laughs> I don't know exactly what negative side effect that has, other than, what, did I just take damage? Yep. Nope, I'm healing. Uh, yeah, I'm healing. So apparently, oh, the only side effect of being poisoned is your food bar turns green? Oh my god, no. The humanity. The humanity. Not manatee, as in like... I need to make it daytime. I want to show you guys something. Shut up. Don't chirp at me. With your chirpiness. I think is it becoming daytime? I don't know. We'll find out here in a moment. Oh, it's still raining. That sucks. Going to sleep at night. Let's make it night. Oh my god, it's already more. There we go. There we go. That was hard to do. It's still raining. Nope. Okay. Cool. Cool. I found that if you're running and jumping, it use up, use up, it uses up um, your food bar just a little bit faster than normal. All right. Last thing I'm going to show you guys, and then I'll leave you alone for a little while. Hello, Spidey Spide. What's up? Spider was all like, I think I'm supposed to not like you, but uh, honestly, I don't give a crap anymore. I don't even car up anymore up in her. A couple things I'd like to find um, would be, of course, a stronghold, um, which I haven't found yet, and an NPC village. My son found one. He started up his own um, survival map. Uh, turned around, walked 10 feet, and there was one, uh, an NPC village, and I was like, oh, you suck. But it was empty. There was no NPCs in it, so, I mean, I, should, I, I was going to say, should I be impressed? I mean, I have an, an empty village. I'm just kidding. I'm sure that's taken a lot of coding to do. All right. You see it? Do you see it? I have bone meal, and here is a mushroom, a mushroom -a. It's not working. Actually, let's let's just replace replant you somewhere. Well, that sucks. Apparently, they grow into super mushrooms. But I don't get to show you that because I don't have enough bone meal. And all my bones are like three and a half quarter miles away. Sigh. Look, hey, Enderman. Just messing up my trace. He'll be fell in that water right there. And all of his roll aids melted in his pocket. What do you think of that? Is that mean? Should I have not said that? So I've gone this way several times now and discovered numerous things each time I went this way. So what I'm thinking about doing is heading out my keep and making a left for the next adventure so we see what's up. Because pretty much all of my armor is on death door. Literally. Knocking. And me in. So if you know what causes that Entity bug where there's like 40,000 of everything. Look at this. Mmm. Pigs. What are you doing? Is this like a peephole? <laughs> What's up? Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Which one of you guys did this? Was it you? No? Good news or bad news? Good news. I have this, so I don't need you. Nom, 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 yes, that was your cousin. Huh? I lied. Mm. 
Oh, did you see that? I fell on him and did a critical damage thing. Which, yeah, if you're like flying or jumping or something, you get damage bonuses. Which is pretty awesome. It's pentacular. And there's, as a toach, as my midget would call it, a toach. Ah! Oh, I don't know why I'm running. Oh, did you see that? That was pretty awesome. I don't know what's going on anymore. I just remembered that I cleared that out. How sad is that? I got like Alzheimer's or Oppenheimer. I don't know what's it called. We forget stuff. I'm well, not senility because I don't think I'm senile. Too attractive. Oh, I knew it. I always pick the wrong hole. That's what she said. Okay. Well, as you can see, I got all the doors on. I, don't, I think I've already showed you that. Um, this is the next project right there. So this ought to be a lot of fun. I mean, it, I'm having a lot of fun building it. I guess that's what really matters. Um, I'm going to kind of... See, here's what I'm talking about. There's not a lick of grass. Well, there might be over there somewhere. But there's like no grass anywhere around here that I know of. So how did this sheep get here? Hmm? How did it get here? Hmm? Hmm? See, why would you do that? Why would you pick up somebody's cobblestone and move it over here? Why would you do that? And there's another piece right there. These guys are very, very annoying. Just picking it up, moving it around. Up, up, up. This looks good here. And this episode's probably kind of chaotic. I really just wanted to show off a few things. I didn't get to show them off. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did. And this murkiness down here is really creeping me out. Look at this. It's like murky. I don't know why that is. You see what I'm talking about? And it was like this before I adjusted my... Before I adjusted my settings. See? That's on far and fancy. And I got this. Is that something new with the visuals? I don't know. I don't know. I got lots of questions. My biggest question, of course, would be um, why can't I get back stairs when I use a pickaxe on stairs? That would be my biggest question. You hear that? I hear spiders. They're around here somewhere. I gotta go locate them. It's nighttime. Run! Yeah, so if you got any suggestions for the exterior courtyard, let me know. If you have any suggestions for the interior courtyard, let me know. I will... Look at that. It's already fully grown. It's already fully grown. I tell you, man. Reed farm... By the time you get done building one, you don't need it anymore. If there was some kind of economy system where you could trade, that would be epic. Wheat farm, by the time you build one, you don't need one anymore. Ah, it's just silly. Yeah, well, I appreciate you guys coming along uh, on my short tour here. And I just want to say, for the record, that each and every one of you was fairly stinking awesome. Except for you. Yeah, right there. To the, no, no, to the left. Yes, you. Uh-huh. That is correct.
Now, you know who I'm talking about. You know who you are. Everyone is awesome but you. <laughs> I love Minecraft. <laughs> Hold on a second. I can do better than that. Boom! I love Minecraft. Perfect! Oh, I love it! Yes! <laughs>